BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by... I want to retire knowing we did it right. We want... To know that it's been worth something. It's worth everything. Be intentional about your worth. Farmers National Bank Wealth Management. Look, I spent 27 years in the Air Force. I know what a skiff is. I used to command troops that uh, that ran the skiff, so I certainly know what the skiff is. That was a uh, that that was a moment that that kind of caught everybody off guard. Uh, our point was, and you know, here uh, let let me say this too: if we're focused on the fact that members of Congress took a cell phone into an unclassified meeting room. Even though it was in the skiff, there was no classified information there. If that's what we're focusing on, instead of the secrecy and the lack of due process and the lack of transparency in this impeachment inquiry, we're focused on the wrong things. Now, in retrospect, I wish I'd left my phone in my office. I had no idea I was going to be going into the skiff. Nobody at the skiff door asked us for our phones. The whole process broke down. When we showed up at the door after doing the news conference, we said we want to go in and see and, and participate in this hearing. We represent 721,000 people. We have a right and a responsibility to know what's going on in that room. It's never been denied to us before. Why is it being denied now? What are they trying to hide? We're, we're talking about a party trying to to overturn the results of an election, to disenfranchise over 60 million American voters with a bogus uh, uh, sham of an impeachment inquiry. But it's never been done this way before. You know, under President Nixon, a uh, Democrat speaker gave President Nixon's team, his lawyers, the minority party, equal access to the witnesses, to testimony, to evidence, allowed them subpoena power. The same thing under a Republican speaker when President Clinton was impeached. It needs to be bipartisan. It needs to be fair. It needs to go through due process. Everybody, including the President of the United States, entitled to due process in America. And oh, by the way, the Constitution of the United States grants the authority for impeachment to the House. Not to Speaker Nancy Pelosi, but aren't, not isn't to this, Adam Schiff. But isn't this an inquiry? So, for example, if there are Republicans who are on the committee who are able to have access, who are able to ask the questions, so it is bipartisan. No, because they're not getting access to some of that information either. Go talk to Jim Jordan. Go talk to Mark Meadows. Go talk to Devin Nunes, the, uh, the leaders of some of those other committees. They will tell you that they are also not being given access to certain transcripts and things that, uh, that Adam Schiff is doing. You're talking about a chairman that has lied to the American people for two years. He said he had evidence about the Mueller, uh, uh, that the Mueller investigation was going to reveal about the Russian collusion delusion. He didn't have that evidence. He told the American people that he didn't know anything about who the whistleblower was. We now find out that he met with the whistleblower. His staff coached the whistleblower. This thing reeks of impropriety. That's not due process. This thing needs to get some daylight. If they want to impeach the president, let them do it in full and open disclosure before the American people. Keep in mind, Speaker Pelosi has brought several impeachment votes to the floor and they've all failed. Mm -hmm. I think if she had the votes, she would have already done it. But the, lacking the evidence. So isn't this the inquiry to gather the evidence to then move forward to have the vote? But that's not the way it works. The prosecutor can't be the jury. You know, if, if the Justice Department wants to appoint a special prosecutor like Ken Starr, right? They can do that. There's no evidence that this president has done anything wrong. How can you make an invalid accusation against someone, even the president of the United States, without some foundation? Is it private because of whistleblowers and protecting some of those witnesses at this point? Doesn't every American have a right to see who their accuser is? But that's against what federal whistleblower laws no. uh, do for for protecting whistleblowers. No, but sooner or later that whistleblower is going to have to come forward and say what they know and be identified and be faced by the president. Uh, maybe not roll it out to the American people and put it on primetime television, but the president's legal counsel has every right to know who the accuser is. If information comes out that is 
uh, more damaging than what has happened, would it change your opinion for the vote for impeachment? That would, that would depend on what the information is. That's totally speculative, and that's just trying to get me to say, yes, I would support pre impeachment yeah. of the president. And the answer is no. Okay. No. President Trump has not done anything wrong. I've not seen any evidence that he's done anything wrong. They've been looking for it for two years. And, and realize what's happened over the last 24 hours. The investigation around what has started this entire thing, the Russian collusion and FISA abuse, has now become a criminal investigation. This goes all the way back to the Obama administration and officials in the, uh, in the uh, Justice Department and the FBI. We're going to get to the bottom of where this all started. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by... I want to retire knowing we did it right. We want... To know that it's been worth something. It's worth everything. Be intentional about your worth. Farmers National Bank Wealth Management. 